Hey everyone and welcome to today's video which is going to be a coloring book haul. This is about all the coloring books I got in the, you know, from um, October till January. Um, and a lot of these I did get um, at like second hand, not second hand, so like um, discount stores, so like that. So I it may look like a lot of books but actually didn't spend a lot on them. Um, some I did get for Christmas gifts and stuff like that. But I figured I'd do it this way and if you see the books over here that's because I don't have a tripod and I figured I'd make one like this instead of holding the camera. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you all the cam uh, show, show you all of the books and then if you want to see a flip through of any of them just may I'll write down the name in the comments below and I will definitely get you a flip through of that. So yeah, I have 16 coloring books here, and I have some coloring supplies as well. So let's get started. Hopefully this won't be a very long video. So the first coloring supply I have here is just a prism color pencil sharpener. Um, I got this for Christmas. I, I've heard some good things about it, and i heard some bad things about it, and I have not had any bad problems with it so far, and I actually really loved it, so I'm glad I picked it up. I'll probably pick up a couple extra. And the next thing I have here to go with the sharpener is a case a 132 case of prism color pencils um they had these on, on sales i picked up for christmas it was like 54 bucks or something like that for christmas so i figured that's a good deal for going for these and i'll pick um the other 18 up open stock and then i probably will um go ahead and just refill these as they get started getting down because so i had to have some that um are getting down a little lower already so i'll just kind of like pick them up from um probably dick blick or something like that for on um, an open stock or if i can find them at um michael's or something like that i will um so yeah i have that and that's all for the coloring supplies i'll be into the coloring books here um and like i said i do have 16 coloring books here so i'm gonna show you them briefly and then maybe show you some pictures inside but if you like like i said if you want a full flip through just let me know in the comments below so the first four that i have here are all by the same publisher they use um shutter stock images or open stock images um uh or royalty free images they did pay for like i pay a little for and you get them um which i usually don't like getting them i like to get them if there is the artist in there and these were um four for eight so they were two dollars a piece um and i figured you know what i know the artist isn't listed but i can I, I can kind of like justify that for spending only two bucks a book and there is flying wonders calming patterns sea life and nature natural wonders the only problem with this one is it is cut a little bit um you can see if i can put this on there it's just a little bit shorter um they only had that one of those ones there and they were at always for a dollar 99 and these, like I said, are just um, like open stock images. They're from sh um, Shutterstock, and they're just kind of like these brief, fast images that you pretty much see in all of the um, books that use Shutterstock for images. And that's just kind of like butterflies and flowers. This is all sea life. Um, I really do like these images here. I don't know if I color them, but I do like them. Um, so it's just nice to have them look at. The common patterns is like kind of like paisleys, and I think. Just like relaxing, easy things to do, and like um, some um, mandal um, yeah, mandalas, stuff like that. It's just kind of like easy stuff you don't have to like really, really think about doing. And then the flying wonders is kind of like your um, your gardens and flowers, and insects and stuff like that. So I figured these would be really fun to kind of break out every now and then and give it a try. Um, but yeah, they're just, um, they're open stock images or shutter stock images. It's from Skyhorse Publishing, um, and the uh, cover I color illustration is Shutterstock, so that's basically saying that the inside is going to be the same thing, um, and the cover design is by Eric Kang. Um, so yeah, it's just probably going to be the same thing throughout the whole thing. But for two dollars a piece, I figured these would be good to have on hand just in case. This next one I picked up for $1.99 and that is Mommy and Me Coloring Together Inspired by Faith. This is basically what it says, um, it's um, 23 detailed Ill illustrations for adult and 23 for uh, the children. I actually picked up for the children images because I like them a little better. Um, and that was $1.99 Ollie's. But you get basically the same image. I know you probably will see this track, but you get the um, adult image and then the, color, uh, the children's image, which is really nice, is you had the scripture thing for the kids on here and it's the same one on that side for the adult it's just a different um different scripture or different telling of it and this is more of the adult's way and the kids way and it's the same thing throughout the whole book you have the um adult's image and the kids image but i actually liked a lot of these ones instead um so i picked up for that 
and it's just gonna be a, something, some fun thing to do, um, kind of like a brainless, kind of like mind candy kind of picture where you can just um, do it for fun and not really go in there and like worry about the shading or uh, like all that kind of stuff. I really like these two. Like this one's one uh, that really made me buy this book. Let's see, I'll get up a little closer there. But I figure a dollar ninety nine. Why not pick this book up? Also, let me see if I can find it here. Um, illustrations are by Susan Spellman. And this one is published by Barber Books. Next one is a popular book, and I think everyone's seen this one, and that is Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. I'm not going to do a flip through or show, I show you too much, but it's just basically what everyone's seen. It is a storybook and a color book at the same time. The next one is the Inspire Room. Um, this is decorative, kind of like, um, like home uh, design stuff that you can color. And I did do this image here. Um, and this is um, softer paper. It's um, non-toothy paper, and it's like slightly bigger than um, printer paper. Like maybe like two sheets of printer paper put together. But I really like this one, and I want to get more kind of um, home design coloring books. I th I really had fun coloring that book. I'm gonna color that page. Next one is um, Cassandra Clare's um, The Moral Injured Coloring Book. And this one, I if I didn't mention it, was by Melissa Mitchell. And it was published by Harvard, Harvest House. But this one is just the coloring book version of the Moral Instrument characters. I did do the first page here, which is Simon. Um, and it's just different scenes from out the whole book here. Um, this one was, let's see if I can find the illustrations. Um, uh, cover illustrations. I don't know if the inside cover design doesn't have just um, the cover illustrations copyright, but I don't know if she did the uh, if Cassandra Jean did the, all of the images inside or not. But she did the cover image, which I could see since this one is a image inside that she probably did do all of the images. I'm trying to find the cover there since she did the cover in, uh, illustrations. It probably she did do all of them as well. The next one is probably my newest favorite coloring book, and that is Fantasia. Um, I can't pronounce the guy's last name, so I'm not going to even try butchering it. But I this one did come actually as like, um, I had it back here, um, so you can like flip the color over, cover over. I didn't like it, so I did cut it off and just, um, as you can see, like I paper clipped it, so it stays on there. But I have done a few ones in here, and I just really, really love this book. This paper is really, really thick. You're not still not be able to use um, alcohol markers or anything like that on it, but if you go easy on like watercolors, you'll be able to use it and stuff like that. But I really, really love this book, and it's one of my new favorites. And I want to pick up a couple more copies of this one. The next one is by Jade Summer, and that is Chibi Girls Horror. Um, I did do a few pictures in here. I really love this one. I love all things horror, so I this is right up my alley, and I did do um, this one here, which is inspired by the joker as like a female joker and then i did do the first page or second page right here and, and i am working on where did i where did it go this page here as well so i really like this one i really do love jade summer's books the next one here is by southern living it is christmas at home i should pick this one up in november but i didn't get to color in it um in the month of november it was dollar 99 and this one is really cool because it has like the home design images but on the other side there's pictures of food that you can color and then on the back side there's actually the recipes for what you just colored in on that side so i thought it was really really cool and the reason i did not get any work done in this one is because of the fact that i want to actually go through and write the recipes down before i color them so they don't get smudged or ruined but i really did like this one and see who did the images illustrations by jan uh, jan gard uh, gird uh, gird uh, Gerda? I don't know how to pronounce that, but that is this one as by Southern Living, which I believe is a magazine. So you can probably go to their website and probably find this one. Um, it just might be on Amazon as well. I'm not sure. The next one is by Animor is Animorphia by Kirby Rosanes. This one I am not a big fan of, I'll be fully honest. I love Imagimorphia and Mythomorphia. I'm looking forward to um, Phantomorphia that comes out in March. I already have it pre-ordered. And this one I don't really like, um, mostly because of the fact that one, the paper quality in this one isn't as good as the other ones. It's very, very thin. And then this one image that I really, really loved 
and you have to pretty much like destroy the book to get to it. Um, because you see the face, all the details is like right in the crevice there. I didn't like that. So, and I don't like the really the, the fill in, like the extra like finished and stuff like that. I don't really like that, but I wanted to grab it for um, to finish off the trilogy or finish off this collection because I really do like his books. The next two books are by Chris Price, and that is The Curiosity Shop. This one is kind of like old style images of what you'd find in like thrift stores or stuff like that. Either like a curiosity shop, like it says, and they're really, really cool and really fun. And the other one is The Sweet Shop by him as well. I have finished one picture, which is this one right here. Um, this paper is really good if you use budget friendly pencils because it's very buttery smooth. So the, um, Budget-friendly pencils go on like they are a more higher quality pencil. So I really like these books. And I'll definitely be keeping an eye out to see if he does any more. And the final two books are the same book. And that is Johanna Basford's um, Secret Garden Artist Edition. Um, I picked them up at Ollie's for $2.99. So $3. And I picked one up and I was like, I need to go back and get another one because... They're gonna sell out like hotcakes, and they did. Um, I went back, um, I got this one originally on a Friday. I went back on Saturday for the second book, and when I went back the next week, um, they were gone, like fully gone. Um, so yeah, this is just, um, there's 20 selected images from Secret Garden, and they're just on artist quality, high quality paper. You can use every medium you want, because they do tear out like this. It's kind of just, they're kind of just like stuck in here and you just kind of peel them out and i am working on this one currently um yeah uh, i really really love it and the paper is really good and i can't wait to color up more of these and get them framed up and stuff like that so that is my coloring haul for like the last two or three months i don't know why i'm out of breath while i film this but i am <laughs> but anyways if you have any opinions on any of the books and if you want to see a um, flip through of them let me know and i will definitely get to that um, and until next time i hope you have an amazing day and happy coloring